This is going to be a very long video to edit, but you know what makes it worth it? Hitting that subscribe button. So with your help, hopefully we can get to 10k as the subscribers are shooting up very, very quickly. I have in front of me a list of not 50, not 75, but 100 clone troopers that LEGO haven't yet made in LEGO form. The majority of these are phase two clone troopers and we could say for most of these clone troopers, we could also get a phase one variant. So I suppose technically there's 200 clone troopers, but I've limited the 501st Legion specifically to only the first 50, that's right, there are 50 501st clone troopers on this list, so they will be very quick to get through and then we'll get to the interesting one later on and stay to the very end for a nice surprise at the end and a clone trooper I hope we can see very, very soon. Starting off this list, we already have the likes of Rex and Vaughn and Fives now in Lego form, but there's definitely a few different outfit options for some of these clones. So the first minifigure on this list is a Rex from Return of the Jedi when he shows up on Endor. We don't see him in the movie, that is a completely different character, but we do see him in Galaxy of Adventures and it'd be a really nice figure to get for an anniversary perhaps, similar to what they're doing this year for Lego's anniversary. People like Fives that show up in actual Clone Wars episodes would be great minifigures to give us in sets, especially if they're going to retouch upon Clone Wars next year with the rumoured Ahsoka Starfighter again. We're talking about that over in the Discord. But we've also never seen a Commander Apo who is at our number two spot of this list. And there are also a few ARC Troopers that we haven't yet got. After getting Fives, I'd love to see an Echo Jesse, Hardcase Kicks, Dogma Tup, and I'm sure there's a bunch that I'm going to miss out in this video. Speaking of Echo Jesse, Hardcase Kicks, Dogma, and Tup, all of these clones have a regular Phase 2 outfit, as well as some of them even a Phase 1, I'm sure, out there in some comic or other. So I'd love to get both of these in Lego form. And that can also be applied to Fives, who has a non arc Trooper uniform as well. A clone trooper that I cannot believe we got, and the only Phase 1 on this list, is a Phase 1 501st, just a regular Phase 1 501st clone trooper. I'm surprised LEGO haven't tried to create some Phase 1 501st clone trooper for a LEGO set. We've got Rex in the past quite a few times, two or three, and a few of the other commanders, but they mostly stuck to a regular Phase 1 shiny costume. So I'd love to get some more detailed ones, but let's get back to the other named clones. Mixer, Voker, Corrick, Denil, Fox, Ringo, Charger, Tango, Boomer from the Republic Heroes games, Rookie, Bo, Sterling, Ridge, Oz, Coho, Charger, Red Eye, Hawk, and even the 501st veteran that shows up in the Kenobi show would be amazing additions to any set just to add a named character to a set. And a lot of these don't vary too much from the regular 501st armor, so they'd be great for building armies. You switch around helmets and torsos, and you could perhaps create these with only a handful of new elements. But we also have a few 501st troopers that have only showed up in Legends, mostly comics. Jaeger, Voka, Vil, Bo, and Kano. Who would be really nice to get in LEGO though, I can think of quite a few more Legends characters I'd prefer before these clone troopers. I'm sure a lot of you would also like to get some accurate clone trooper pilots. Matchstick, Broadside, Contral, and Tag from Shadow Squadron, Axe, Slammer, Swoop, Kickback, and Tucker, from Blue Squadron, and though they do fly with Plo Koon Shadow Squadron, this is, and they do share great markings with Plo Koon's Wolfpack clone troopers, they are Anakin's troopers, so it makes sense that they come under the 501st. And last but not least is an ARC Trooper Havoc, who Havoc isn't actually a member of the 501st, but is actually a part of Tango Company. So to stick with the theme, we can also get Trap, Scythe, Pulsar, Ox, Edge, and then the regular Havoc minifigure, which would be pretty cool to just get a set with all of them in, though I don't think LEGO are going to do that anytime soon. Stepping out of the 501st now, that is... I think the last clone on this list, I don't know if any other clones have connections to the 501st, but we're stepping right into Revenge of the Sith and a bunch of clones from here. We're starting off with Commander Bly of the 332nd Star Corps. And of course, we've got to get some regular clone troopers. I'd love to get a battle pack next year. Oddball is the pilot at the start of the movie as well. And though we have got a few of them pilots before, I'd love for them to update the design. And especially if they include some named characters, it'd be really cool. But 
they all do look the same anyway. Bakara and some of the Nova Corps would be really good again to get in a battle pack next year for the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith and I hope we at least get one battle pack. Really I wouldn't be fussed if they dropped the commander for four regular troopers. Neo and the 91st, same again, a battle pack would be great and they could even give us a brand new bark speeder battle pack for a reduced price compared to the 20 25 pound ones of recent and to mention a few popular clone troopers that didn't show up of course we can get a wolf and wolf pack clone trooper which i do actually own custom versions of and i'll leave that video linked at the end of this one if you wanted to check it out but we've also got gregor from clone wars a bunch of clone wars clones are coming up later on in this video and the commando as well just a regular commando which is actually what gregor is speaking of commandos if you play delta squad boss fixer scorch and sec which would be great to get in a battle pack similar to the inferno squad battle pack we got with Iden versio and her team and then from bad batch we've got crosshair we've got gray who does show up in both a green on screen and red in the comics so i'd like to get both versions of that Halzar, the Camino clone, a grey version of Cody, Greer, Samson, Slip and Cade, who were the clones at the bar on Coruscant. And there's a bunch of other unnamed clones that have really cool designs from that show. The commander of the 13th Battalion and also just the regular troopers show up in the Jedi game franchise, specifically Fallen Order under Jedi Master Jaro Tapal, who is the master of Padawan, Cal Kestis, who we play as in the show. And not only they would be a nice addition, but the Purge Troopers actually are clone troopers that the Empire has adapted for their specific skill needs to combat the remaining Jedi where the Inquisitorious are spread too thin. So that would be a great minifigure to get in Lego form and I think they definitely should have made at least one set from the games with how popular they are they've given us a Cal Kestis minifigure they have given us a BD1 if we got a Mantis with the rest of the crew and perhaps a Purge Trooper battle pack there's not really much more they could do we mentioned the comics briefly with the red version of great and I think getting a 440 second green clone trooper which featured I think exclusively in the Kenobi comic flashback would be really really cool because I don't think there's enough green clone troopers in Star Wars and finally all but one of these clone troopers are from Clone Wars and you could probably recognize a few we've got Doom and his squad of Doom troopers Thorn who is a Coruscant guard and I again own a custom printed minifigure myself season 7 of the Clone Wars showed us a new Anaxis clone trooper which Fans are theorizing is a part of the 91st, but either way, it'd be great to get some of these in Lego. Clone Troopers in training would be another amazing battle pack that I'm so surprised Lego haven't already given us, especially with how popular the Rookies arcs are. Horn Company and Bomb Squad both have Phase 1 Clone Troopers, but I'd love to get an alternate Phase 2 printing for these, especially if LEGO were to redo that battle pack with these updated troopers. Geonosis does have its own trooper, but it's not as accurate as what we see on screen with Kiadimundi in the second battle of Geonosis. So I'd love an updated helmet mold for that minifigure, as well as a flame trooper. And speaking of flame troopers, I don't think we've got a snow trooper in lego even though we do see the 501st in their snow gear throughout the clone wars cadets or a young boba minifigure which is very similar to the one lego have already given us but with red arms with a little bit of printing which we've kind of got with omega just printed on a red arm and speaking of boba fett he is a clone of Django fett so we could also get a version of him with his early armor designs before he adopts his father's gear. Cutler Quain is another minifigure that LEGO might never make, but it'd be really cool for them to give away a bonus minifigure for some sort of event. And the 99th minifigure on this list had to be 99 himself. Again, another minifigure that would make a great poly bag or a May 4th minifigure if they were to ever bring them back. Now for number 100, I'm going to do something a bit controversial and lean over to the Hasbro Black series. I know Hasbro and Lego fans don't always get along, but Hasbro made a gingerbread clone trooper a few Christmases ago, and I'd love to see something like this in an advent calendar in the future. Recently, we've been getting a few clone troopers, especially clones and droids, and with a few years ago, R2D2 and C3PO got Christmas versions of themselves once again. I'd love to see a Christmassy clone and battle droid next year. The anniversary 
of Revenge of the Sith, I don't think there's any better time to do it. So hopefully we can see what next year's advent holds. But thank you for sitting through this whole video. Let me know down in the comments, out of these 100 clones, which ones would you like LEGO to make first? Thank you so much for watching. Check out all the videos on screen now. And may the bricks be with you always.